Hey guys, it's Hannah here and today I'm here with a very late, but it's finally here, what I got for Christmas video. The reason this video is so late is because I did get money for Christmas and I did place an online order with Colourpop when they were doing their like 20, 30, 40 or 40, 30, 40, 50% off um, select items and then when you spend over $50 you got a free palette and that stuff's finally arrived. So let's get into it with the things I was gifted um, and then we'll get to that. I have a lot of body products this year which is really cool because it means I don't have to buy body products for the rest of the year. Um, but I got a set from Daniel's extended family from the body shop and it came with the Shea shower cream, the coconut shower cream, the coconut body mist and the the <laughs> coconut body butter. I'm gonna assume that's the coconut body butter. One of his other extended families got me a little cute um, duo of the coconut shower gel and uh, body milk as well. So I will be smelling fantastic all year. Um, yeah, when it comes to Daniel, I'm really difficult to buy for because my birthday and Christmas are so close together. Usually I kind of have to drop hints and do all these things. Um, this year he basically said, I, I know you want these fancy brushes, so just pick the ones you want and I'll get them for you. So I got some Wayne Goss brushes, but while we were there, I couldn't find another thing I wanted and we needed to get over the thing to get free shipping. So I picked up the Ordinary Nice in My 10% Zinc 1% and I've been using this, I'd say three weeks now and I'm really liking how it's got on, on my skin. I use this in the morning underneath my um, morning skincare. Really liking that. Now, he had already gotten me the Wayne Goss number 14 brush for my birthday. Um, because this is how long we've been talking about me getting these brushes. Um, but he did get, we did get, I did get three more. I got to pick them. He got them for me. Um, so there is the number eight, which is from the original one, which is a gorgeous, like, egg-shaped brush I've been using for highlighter. Another blush brush. This is the number 11. I think it's called the buffing brush. Really like it. And then an eye brush from the original collection. This is the number 6, which is like the MAC 217. Sticking with brushes, um, Leanne got me the mirror. A light up mirror that is currently behind me. It is incredible. I'm really liking it. She also got me two Smith Cosmetic brushes because I was on a brush kick. Um, I got the 220 and the 253. This is the pointed arrow and then this is the, like, uh, such a weird shape brush, but I've been using it lower lash line, brow bone, all over the place. And then, like we do most years, we either of us get something, like sets and stuff that have things we don't, we usually just swap things out. So she got the, um... Dream Mud Duo, which she already got in a set I picked up for her in the States, so she gave it for me to try. This is the nighttime um, treatment. So it's got the serum and the seal. I haven't tried this yet. It's been sitting in my box. Um, and then she got a Jeffree Star, the mini liquid lipstick set, and the nude one. And basically, we are very opposite in our lip colours. She loves very nudie nudes, and she knows I love the pinky nudes. So we've got Androgyny Gemini and Rose Matter in the minis, which is great because my Androgyny and Gemini will be expiring this year, so it's nice to have some minis to play with of those. Um, and then the rest is Colourpop. So, um... Like mum and uh, Erin's I've already mentioned, I'm pretty sure, but she gave me the Queen of Hearts palette that we did our Christmas exchange early, so I've got that. I feel like I've mentioned that already. 
If not, I got the Queen of Hearts palette off Erin. Mum and Dad gave me money when we went to the States. Um, so, and now I'm, yeah, and then Daniel Stanley gave me money, which is what I spent on Colourpop. So, the first thing I got was the blending brush. This is, again, like the MAC 217 kind of style. It's more fluffy at the end, so I haven't used this yet. It feels like duo fibery, so I'm excited to play with that. I picked up one of the Supernova Shadows. Erin um, was actually on a cruise when this sale was going on, but we were messaging the whole like back and forth our wish like our shopping list to each other so that we don't double up because we realize we don't need doubles of things in our collections we can just borrow if someone has something specifically that the other one wants so she picked up two of the original shades and i feel like this is one of the like newer ones that came out and when i first swatched this i could get like no product on the actual wand but now there's heaps of product on the wand so it's swatching way better than it did like when i first got it and this is one of the ones that has like the actual glitter in it and it's so it's got like a bluey glitter with a bronzy base and it's super pretty. I can't wait to play with it on the eyes. I'm not sure if you guys are seeing that. Then I picked up quite a few single eyeshadows. I picked up nine single eyeshadows which I've popped in my Z palette with my other Colourpop shadows. So I picked up these two rows down here. Um, there are three mattes and six shimmers so i've got these on my eyes today as well so we've got now and zen which i have on as my inner corner highlight it's a white with a gold duochrome very similar to kat one d's thunderstruck and then we have three matte shades here let me swatch them and tell you the names of them at the bottom we have wake up call the peachy one is wait for it and then Made to Last. I have Made to Last and Wake Up Call on my eyes today. Then we have So Jaded, which is like is super pretty. I'm checking that in the view I, that you guys can see in the camera. Um, super pretty, like pinky purple shifty thing. I don't know, it's quite pretty. Then we have Ego, which is a... It's not one of their metallics, it's just one of their like shimmeries, which yes, there is a difference. Um, it's just a pretty kind of rose goldy kind of shade. Then we have Glass Ball, which is a dead on dupe for um, Huda Beauty's Retrograde, which I have on my eyes today. Really love that colour. I find it even more pigmented than Retrograde. I don't know. Then we have a metallic in snake eyes. This is a really gorgeous like taupe colour with a purple like shiftiness to it. It does have a shiftiness to it, like pinkiness. And then we have a dragonfly. Most of these were I think the all fall collection. Um that's dragonfly right there. Hopefully you can see those. So those were $2.80 um, at the sale. So I, yeah, went a little bit crazy. And rearranged them to make my palette work, but I needed them separate so I knew which ones were which. Then this palette was not on sale, but I needed it in my life. This is a Dream Street collaboration with Kathleen Lights and I love these colours. I'm so in love with these colours. Um, so I'm going to swatch them for you because they are freaking incredible. Um, it's like the perfect warm palette. But then there's got like the teal. And there's this gorgeous like silver green shifty colour. So pretty. So we have from top to bottom Twinkle. Stardust, Magical, and Shooting Star are the first four. I feel like that's the right way. And there. I'm reading them like the name on the back is the way they are this way. 
Then the next three, four, three, four. Yeah, Hannah. Talent. It's like the gorgeous matte, and then it's like pretty champagne-y color. And we have Spark, Potion, Water Bearer, and Sweet Dreams. Yeah, I feel like I'm going the right way because the teals match up well with the names on the back. And then the last row. I feel like the last row is my favorite. It's just like the teal and then this bottom color that's like a silver with a green shift to it. <laughs> the satin cream went over the matte teal, which didn't wipe off particularly easily. You can kind of see that through the bottom. But then we have Mermaid Boy, Mooney, Elfish, and Kaleidoscope in that. So I did pay full price for that one because it is absolutely stunning. And I'm so glad I did. Because I actually haven't got one of the Colourpop pre-made palettes. Um, but really glad to have that. And then when you spent over $50, you got a free Golden State of Mind palette. Um... I really like this palette. Um, it's definitely not a standalone palette. It has some of these standard metallic shades, but it does also have some glittery shades in it, which I think is what people aren't loving about this palette. But there are some that are like legit glitter. This one here, which is Watch On, Watch Out, which is again a dead on dupe for um, Huda Beauty. No, not this one. Yeah, this one. This, this one's not the dupe I'm talking about, but it is a really, like, it's got glitter in it. The dupe I'm thinking of is Drizzle, which is a dupe for um, Angelic by Huda Beauty. Like, they're those kind of glittery top coaty shades. And I haven't played with them yet, so I haven't seen, like, Fallout and stuff like that. But I would probably use a glitter primer with it. Some of these shades are just so gorgeous, like this top one here in Golden Egg. It just leaves, like, I have glitter all over my hands. It has, like, again, they're just fun colours. And I think paired with the other palettes that I have, shadows that I have, they'll go really nicely. So that is it for the What I Got For Christmas video slash What I Haul It With My Christmas money. Do give this video a thumbs up if you guys like it. This will be the last haul for a while, hopefully. I am on a low buy for the first half of the year, hopefully. Um, low buy. Not no buy, because I could not do that. But do give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what if you guys want to see like reviews or info on any of these products. If you guys want to see looks with the Colourpop palettes, let me know. And click subscribe to stay tuned for more videos. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.